Today we're talking about how to consolidate tracks within Pro Tools. So if you guys have a messy session where all your clips are chopped up, or if you need to prepare your session for mixing, like you're gonna send it out to another mix engineer, then this is the perfect tutorial for you. So I'm gonna show you guys how to properly consolidate tracks after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash the like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we are talking about how to consolidate tracks within Pro Tools. So why would you want to consolidate tracks? Well, I can think of two reasons. The first being it's a good way to just clean up your session, make it look a lot nicer and just a lot easier to work with. And the second would be to actually consolidate them, to prepare them, to send off to somebody. And I'm gonna show you how that's beneficial as we get further along in this tutorial, all right? So before we get into that, I wanna mention I have a link to my Pro Tools training playlist popping up in the top right corner now. So this list contains videos ranging from beginner to advanced level to help you get better at using Pro Tools. So feel free to check out that playlist after this video. So with that being said, let's get into this track consolidation demo. So for this demo here, we are gonna use this lead guitar part and it's currently broken into three clips as you can see. So we want to combine these three clips into one. That is what track consolidation is. So we want to click on the first clip here and we want to hold shift on our keyboard and then click on the last clip. And that's going to allow us to highlight them all. So now we can either do one of two things. We can go up to the edit menu here in the top left, go down to consolidate clip and click that and it consolidated them. Let me do control Z here. Or if you saw in the edit menu here, we have a keyboard shortcut. And you know on this channel, I want you guys to use keyboard shortcuts whenever you can. So it is Alt Shift 3. So let's do that on our keyboard here. So Alt Shift 3. And regular 3 or numeric 3 will work for this keyboard shortcut. All right. So that's how we consolidate clips that actually exist. So what if we want to expand the length of our clips? So for example, if you're going to give a mix engineer tracks you need them all to start at the same time you know this one obviously starts way later in the song than some of these other clips so we couldn't just give this to the mix engineer and allow him to drop it in the session because it would just drop in the beginning of a session and everything would be misaligned so that's not going to work so what we need is to have this particular clip start pretty much at the beginning of the song that's what we want we want all the clips to start at the beginning of the song in that scenario so what we can do is we can go to the end of this clip here and we can simply just pick a spot at the end, doesn't really matter. So we'll do here and we'll just drag all the way to the beginning and we could do the same thing. We'll just do Alt Shift 3 on our keyboard. Check that out. So it basically expanded the length of the clip all the way to the beginning. So that's how you can consolidate a clip and make it be a specific length, all right? So now also what's cool about this is if we expand our little clip panel over here, so let me do this here. So now if I click on this here, you're gonna see this clip shows up over here. So let me actually open up the folder of where these files are located. All right, so I got the folder here. So this song is called Stars by Overtime Winter. I've used it many times in a lot of other tutorial videos. So what we can do is we can actually go to audio files here and we're looking for lead to underscore zero four left. So let's go down and see where it's at. Let's see, we got lead one, lead two. Okay, so we got lead to underscore zero four left. So you wanna know what's cool about this here? You can take that particular file right here and you can send that off to your mix engineer. You don't have to actually export files and pro tools when you want to send them off to somebody. If you go in here, you consolidate all of your tracks to the very beginning, like we just did with this one track here. That's how you can create your files to send off to a mix engineer. It's that simple. So, you know, it's a great feature. 
I know in some other DAWs, you have to actually go in there and export tracks, and it's not all that big of a deal, but I just find this to be very intuitive and very quick. So I think that's a great feature of Pro Tools. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys learned how to properly consolidate tracks through it. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I love making this content for you, and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later, and peace out.